I'm Kate and welcome to this Christmas charity shop haul. I'm very excited to be filming this because I didn't think I would find any more treasure. I thought that was it for the charity shops for this year. And then I went and donated some bags of things and found some amazing items. And I was so glad I went in just at the right moment. So I've got loads of things to show you and I'm very excited about them as well. Um, I've got Christmas decorations. I've got Christmas gifts. I've got some a brand new top from Next for myself. That's really lovely. I also found some garlands and I've already decorated them in our house. That's not right. I've already put them up in our house. Um, and I'm doing a special video tomorrow, a Christmas decorations downstairs house tour tomorrow. So you'll see the garlands that I, I bought in the house tour. They're around like the arch thing to our dining room. They were two pounds each and I needed garlands. I couldn't find garlands anywhere online. They'd all sold out and I saw these two in the window in Sue Ryder and I said, you're not selling them, are you? Oh, you're not selling them, are you? Thinking they say no. I didn't do it in that voice, but I was like, you're not, you know, you can't be because they're exactly what I need and there's no way you'd sell them. You're selling them. I was so grateful. I was like, oh, I love you. I'm going to bring you so, so many things to donate. Oh, my face went strange then. But I was so happy to find these garlands. They were two pounds. I've already said that. And they just look gorgeous. And it's just made my fine. I just needed two more to frame this door. And I did it. You'll see in my house tour thing tomorrow, two o'clock. And I don't even show my face on it. Well, I might just at the end say a quick hello. So it just literally starts and I'm outside and I film the house and all the decorations. I finally tidied up. I finally did a house tour. It's just downstairs, but um, it's not of upstairs because there's no Christmas decorations up here. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that video for tomorrow. Right, so loads of things to show you in my charity shop haul, thrifty haul. And I've also, this is another reason why this video is so exciting. I've got a bag of things from Ewan. Mr. Carrington. I can't wait to open these. I'm really excited. So I'll do that at the end, shall I? I'll open these presents at the end. Okay then. Right, so oh, before I get into it, I've got to do my mug of the day and it is a, just here. It's this lovely Christmas, I want to say car, but it looks more like a bus, but I think it is, I think it is just a car, isn't it? It's really cute, a little Christmas car and it's got um, some lights in the windows. It's red, obviously. It says jolly on the back. And I got this from TK Maxx um, a couple of years ago. Oh, I've got the thing on the bottom, it says two pounds. So it was a little bargain from TK Maxx in the yellow sticker sale. And I found this with my mum. Um, we went shopping the January, must have been January, no, two years ago. And she loved a bargain. We love a bargain. And we picked up a few bits. So this is quite nice. It reminds me of like a little shopping trip with my mum. So this is my mug off the day. And I've got, I've got water because been really thirsty I've been doing the house tour and talking for ages like filming and talking but kind of like takes it out of you for some reason so I was thirsty so I've got water right I'm going to shut up and get on with the decorations so the first well the haul the uh the the bargains so the first thing I'm going to show you I nearly didn't get this but then I've learned when you nearly don't get something you then think about it so I was like just get it get it get it get it well I didn't th say think that in my head three times but I thought just get it because you never know and then you know if I don't use it this year or next year I can re-donate it this was a pound it's um oh like a funny red Christmas garland so just red leaves with a branch like a brownie red branch glittery red and I'll put this somewhere and if I don't then yeah I'll put it away for next year and then if I don't use it I'll donate it because I have donated quite a few um Christmas decorations this year that I didn't need because I think everyone's doing different colours so everyone's like oh I'm doing different colours this year so if you pass it on to the charity shops and someone else is probably doing that colour and it just keeps going around the circles and it keeps getting donated so if you have any decorations do not throw them out or anything like half decent make sure you donate them all because someone could love them so that was a pound it's just a red long garland thing you could do a wreath as well or a big hairband hello so that was a pound Gonna put that there. I've got another one exactly the same, but it's gold. I don't know where these are from originally, but they're nice, aren't they? Would you have got them? Would you have, um, if you'd have seen these and they were a pound each, would you have got them or left them? I just couldn't leave them behind. And then I might, they might be perfect for something. So two of those. And then this was a pound as well, I think, actually. Have I got a price on it? No, I think this was a pound, this reef. It's a little bit, um, worn in places like that flower there but I thought it doesn't really matter because with a wreath like this you can just add to it can't you so I can probably pull that flower out 
and then add to it. So I just thought I would get this and put it somewhere. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't leave that for a pound. And I do love a wreath. This is kind of goldy, reddy, and it's got some nice pine cones in as well. So I'm going to just put that behind me for now. To put, no, I can't really can I put you anywhere. You won't really see it, will you? Because it just blends in. I'll just put it down. I'll just put it there. Sorry, you can't see it, but it's just here. So that was a pound. And then I bought three of these stars. So I thought there was only one. And the lovely lady said, oh, we've got two more of those. It's like, okay, I'll get them, please and thank you. So three gold stars. And I've been star mad this year. I don't love gold. I sort of, I don't know, I, I prefer white or silvery stars or, or grey like that one. But I could probably spray those maybe. I don't know. They're just quite nice anyway, I suppose. It doesn't matter if they're, they're gold when like hung up. They could go on the tree, maybe hanging down from somewhere, hanging down from the stairs or something. But there's three of them and they were a pound each. So three gold stars. Da -da. They're like, they're metal. So I'll just put those there as well. I love that I found some Christmas decorations. I thought my last haul, my last charity shop haul um, was the last one, but no. There was, this, there was this one. There is this one. I'll link the other one in the description box as well. So I'll just link it below in case you missed it. And I managed to find this brand new Gisela Graham bauble in uh, in Sea Rider. So as you can see there, Gisela Graham, it's never been used and it is so cute. It's got a little cat on there and buttons. Another cat here. It's so sweet. I love Gisela Graham items and this is just really sweet so this is going to go on our bright Christmas tree which you'll see tomorrow in the Christmas tree tour no that's not true in the house Christmas decorations tour it's lovely isn't it and that was a pound so just really cute love things like that oh it's so gonna it remind me it will remind me of this year but I've got some clothes here and oh little Norwich bear oh he's cute I got this for Toby a little Norwich bear. Hello, I'm a Norwich bear. And he was only a pound, so I thought I would get him and then uh, Toby can have him. But to be honest, um, Lee's dad is more of a Norwich fan, so if not, we can just hand it over to him. He might not want it. But no, I think we'll keep you. I like you, little Norwich football club bear. Um, and then I got Lee. Got the clothes. I've got any more clothes. No, just these ones here. I got Lee this book. So this Peter Crouch, How to Be a Footballer book. He hasn't got it. I don't know if it's a new book, but it was only a pound and Lee loves a football book and he really likes Peter Crouch. So I thought I would get that. It's got pictures in as well. He loves a, like a biography, autobiography. So I'm sure he'll, um, yeah, he'll enjoy reading this. And then another gift for Lee. So I've got lo Lee loads of little things this year, as you've probably seen in the halls. And I saw this super dry top and it looks brand new. So I'm just gonna wrap it up for him. He doesn't really like secondhand things. I normally just, like if I get him anything, I wash it and then hang it up and he doesn't really know. It's like, where's that from? I don't know, and he just wears it. But I'm gonna just give this to him because it's in such good condition. It's pretty much perfect. And this is very Lee, this t-shirt. Super dry top, like I said, absolute perfect condition doesn't look worn at all extra large and it was three pounds which is a really good price isn't it so a lovely big uh, super dry t-shirt for lee really excited to find this jumper so this is the jumper from next that's brand new and it's got the tags in as well it's a polo neck a cream polo neck jumper and i do love a polo neck and i wear jumpers all the time literally all day long I haven't really worn many dresses and jeans. No, what dresses and, I used to always wear dresses, tights and boots or a skirt with a jumper and tights and boots. But at the moment I'm just wearing like jeans and a really cozy jumper. So it's, um yeah, it's just cream and it's got a really nice polo neck, brand new with the tags, as you can see there. And I got it for three pounds from Sue Ryder, which is brilliant. Um, and it's a size 14. I think that looks quite small though, doesn't it? Like, um, that to me looks like a, a size 10, 12. And it's got a nice detail. Oh yeah, here. I really like the look of that detail on the arm, if you can see that there. I thought that was nice. Um, I thought that was really pretty actually, that detail there. So that's for me. Merry Christmas to me. A couple more decorations here. I got a little wooden star and I've actually hung one of these up 
in our snug room. So I've made, I did like this bauble light thing, which you might have seen, it was in a Poundland video. So I'll link that video in the description in case you want to know what I'm talking about. But we've um, got like, I wouldn't say it's a chandelier, but it's like a little light in our snug room. And I put some stuff around it and hung my little orchid baubles on it. I'll link my little haul video in case you want to see the little baubles with orchids in. Um, they're little real flowers and there's a little like water bubble. Um, have a look at that video if you want to know what I'm talking about. And I found some cat kids and dog and cat beds as well. So there'll be a little haul in the description and what else did I say? Charity shop haul and my Poundland video showing you the baubles. Anyway, so I've hung one of these up. So I've got two of these stars. They were a pound each and one, one is hung up in the snug room from the light with the orchid baubles um, and this I'll probably put on our posh tree. So we've got a tree with white baubles and some wooden ones as well so I'll probably put that on there. I've got some little jute strings so I'll hang that up. And then I saw this and thought I'd take a gamble on it because it's um well it's a table runner. It's a red table runner and I wasn't going for red in our living room, no dining room, but I thought this actually might look quite nice. It's a darker red so it might look nice along the table or if not I'll keep it maybe for next year because I do love having I do love a table runner and it was only a pound so I thought I'd get it and um you know use it or I could put it somewhere else actually I don't know it could go on a side make a little like Christmassy scene but I just thought I would get that for a pound um and then I could do a little or maybe I could use it on Boxing Day or something and make a different Christmas table. I don't know. But that was only a pound, so I thought I would get it. It's got little snowflakes and things. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you this, am I? But yeah, snowflakes and stars, is it? Oh, oh, Rufus is here, by the way. You probably heard him. He's down here having a little snore. And I found Toby a couple of books. I really hope he likes them. I hope he doesn't think they're too kiddie. I think he'll like them anyway. They're Frank Lampard books, which I've never, I didn't even know he wrote any um, kids books. But they look really nice. So this is Frankie's Magic Football, Frankie versus the Knights Nasties. And this one is Frankie and the Dragon Curse. They were a pound each and they had loads more, but I thought, well, I don't want to buy them all just in case my son Toby thinks they're rubbish. So I thought, well, I'll get two. And then if he doesn't like them, I'll wrap them up for Christmas maybe. And then if he doesn't want them, I can just donate them again or give them to one of his friends who I think might like them. But I just thought I would get them because they looked good. Yeah, so two of those for Toby. This is really random, this next present, and you'll see why. So I, <laughs> I love buying things like this to give to people. So this is for one of my friend's husbands, and I just wanted to wrap it up. So when he opens it, he's like, what, what is that? Why have you got me a G4 book? Well, it's, it's a signed copy, Matt, it's signed. So I think he'll really laugh. He doesn't watch these videos. And I don't think Kelly will be watching, but I just think that'd be so funny. He opens it up and he's like, there's this book. And it was only a quid. I love buying weird stuff. When I was younger, I did that. Me and my um, best friend from years ago, Daisy, we wrapped up loads of weird things from my house and gave them out when we were 10 at school. We we're like, happy Christmas and gave lo away loads of weird things from my house. and. People thought we were very strange and we thought it was so funny. I don't know what we were doing back then, but I was only, no, we were 11. I don't know. I don't know why we did it, but yeah, I love getting weird things and wrapping up and giving to people because it just makes me laugh. <laughs> I bought these dads some EastEnders books once um, and he was really like, doesn't even like EastEnders. It was just a weird present. Anyway, that was a pound and then he'll donate it afterwards. Um, so hopefully, well, I don't even think I'll be able to see them, but I might wrap it up anyway, and that's even weirder if he gets that book and I'm not even there. Right, what else have I got in here? Some Christmas decorations. Um, so just all different Christmas decorations. So I'll do a bit of colouring in with Toby. These different ones here, and we can probably... Oh, I think I've got a delivery. I can hear a truck coming in. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do some colouring in and then make some bunting out of these and I don't know what that, or it just says teach me, it says teachers, res what? Te what? teachers resources and they were a pound so I'll be, I do love a bit of colouring in and then again this is a little bit random, it looks like such a lovely book and I couldn't leave it behind, homemade gifts vintage style written by Sarah Moore, it's such a beautiful book, it was, oh, it was two pounds and there's all kinds of different things in here, it's kind of Kath Kidston-y it's gorgeous and I actually bought this for someone I don't, I don't really know which is very strange it's just gorgeous so I bought this for dainty diaries so 
she's Ewan's friend and I'm going to give this to Ewan when I see him and then maybe someday down the line next year when they meet up when Ewan meets up with Catherine he can pass it on I nearly didn't get it and I thought just get it because I think she'll love it she makes such beautiful things on her YouTube channel and on Instagram you probably would look look this, this is her all over isn't it if you watch her channel you probably already do if not I'll link her in the description box so you can go and follow her so Ewan did I think Ewan met up with her because they were doing I don't know what they were doing some they're in London a couple of years ago and uh so I sort of I loved her Instagram it's just beautiful her videos are lovely and she's Irish and she's so funny so I think she'll really love that so I thought just get it and then give it to Ewan when I see him and then hopefully in the future Ewan will see her and he can he can give it to her and I think she's going to love it. Or maybe Ewan can make a few things. Such a beautiful book though. So you'll see why I couldn't leave. Look, just gorgeous. I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave it behind. So yeah, I'll put that away. No, I won't. I will. No, I'll put it away. And then when I see Ewan eventually one day, um, he can pass it on to Catherine. I also picked up this photo frame. It's brand new. Soho 3D box photo frame and that was two pounds so I thought that would be quite good to put a picture in and give it to someone as a Christmas present I just had some photos printed actually so I can put one in there or a couple in there maybe four little pictures make a little collage and give that to my dad or something so yeah I thought it was a really good buy you might have seen this the other day when I did my little haul um I did a little haul and we went to the beach I think that was the vlog so I'll link that in the description box if I've forgotten to link any of these videos by the way just send me a message, a comment, and I will add it because sometimes I say I'm going to add things and I completely forget. But this is a really nice fluted, thank you if you commented the other day, saying fluted because I thought it was scalloped. I was like, I think that's scalloped. And then someone was like, I think it's fluted. I think you are right. It was £2 and it's a really nice like pie dish. And I love a heart. So um, we use that over Christmas. That was £2. I'll just put it on top of my G4 book. I didn't show you the sign, did I? The signature signed copy got to be worth millions on ebay there we go they've all signed it brilliant just in case you were wondering signed copy and then oh one more thing before i'm on to my presents from ewan it's a little santa and maybe he goes at the top of our tree we haven't actually got a star we have got a star on our posh tree on our like green and white and wooden tree but on our other one other christmas tree we haven't got one because I keep falling off. Um, so maybe he can go on there. Oh, look, he's very jolly with his legs. His legs are crazy. He's doing a crazy dance. So he was a pound and I just couldn't leave him. I was like, I have to have him. I do love, I love metal decorations. So yeah, that's all my charity shop haul. Let me know your favourite item in the comments. So write, write it down below. Okay, so presents from Ewan. Got this lovely big box here. Oh, it might be upside down. Okay, put it back. Ah, oh, it says Kate on the top of the little star thing there. Right, so in here, I've got, oh, look. Oh, it's all lovely colours. He's so good with his packaging and colours and everything. I just, I send stuff and it's all wrapped really badly and bright, you know, bright red and green wrapping paper right so i've got a little card here i'm gonna open first thank you so much you and love receiving this very cute little card thank you and then inside here what's that oh that is so beautiful okay oh is that the one we fought over from the car boot sale cushion cover hang on oh, let me look at that first actually it can't be I think it is. I think this is the cushion cover that me and Ewan had a scrap over at the car boot sale. Unless I'm making that up, I'm sure it is that one. If anyone remembers that, I think it was, it might have been the first time we met a couple of years ago, we went to a car boot sale and we both wanted this cushion. If not, it sounds like I'm going crazy, but if it is that one, thank you so much. I love it. That'll look really nice in my blue living room. I'll put the innards back in it. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Ewan. Cushion cover and that's from gallery home i think that is the one we nearly fought over and then uh, this is like oh i thought it was a mug but it's a cup i like the color of this tissue paper it all looks really oh it's the emma bridgewater cup how beautiful is that i have seen this in his video love it 
that would be my drinking cup and he could actually put um some flowers in there i think he did get this from a charity shop i would have absolutely bought that i love anything over bridgewater that is gorgeous i love this um pattern as well so thank you you and i love that and then there's a wreath here i think this must have been a diy oh that's beautiful look at this it's absolutely gorgeous it's got some of the um the stuff from the stuff with it attached to it how lovely is that is that one of his diys it must be yeah it is isn't it that is absolutely gorgeous i love the colors could that go there could that go in our utility room maybe that look lovely that is so gorgeous got some eucalyptus and some other foliage this is from a video a little while ago i think wasn't it that is gorgeous so thank you very much you and I love that. Right, so I've got two more things in here to open. So here we go with this one. I don't know what this is. I hope he's not disappointed with my presence. I'm not sure when he's going to be opening them. Oh, oh, I have seen these. He got these. Um, I saw them in his charity shop haul. Top tips. Oh, was it a car boot sale? I can't remember where he picked them up from. But I have seen them on his channel. Top tips for brides. Oh, I shall be reading that if we ever get married. I meant to get married this year and it didn't happen. The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Some words of wisdom in there. It's a lovely, lovely little book. Thank you. And um, don'ts for weddings. I'll give that to Lee to read. Don't, let's see what it says. Don't permit anyone other than the bride to cut the cake. Each guest is invited to partake of it. Don't stay to the bitter end and pocket morsels of the bride cake. There's all kinds of don'ts in here. I might print this out and send it to people before we get married. <laughs> Don't. Oh no, that's too long. Hang on. What else have I got? Let me find a quick one. Let's do one more. Don't be boisterous in your leave taking of the depart. What? Don't be boisterous in your leave taking of the departed couple. I don't know what that means. Don't throw rice at the young couple. This one's strange. Don't take a second wife without informing any adult sons and daughters who may reside with you. Oh, this is a little bit weird. This is beautiful. So, I think that's everything in there. Yes, it is. This is an absolutely stunning vase. How gorgeous is that? Love it. That'll look really nice in my kitchen because our kitchen is... um. The Argus navy blue, so it'll look really nice next to the Arga or like on the island in front of the Arga. And you can see my Arga on tomorrow's home decoration thing, Christmas decoration tour. I love that. So that is everything in this charity shop haul and then some lovely gifts from Ewan at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know your favourite item. I think it's got to be this for me from Ewan and the jug, the vase I mean. The drug, the vase is beautiful, and the cup, and the creepy don'ts for weddings. I can read it, that's really funny actually. That'd be a good um, book to have, you know, just on like coffee table books because that one's a little bit weird. I do like a weird book, as you can tell, because of the, the G4 book. I love a weird book. Should have given that to you, and actually, you would have been like, what? What is this? And, and I love that. This is gorgeous. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe as well. And come over to Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and my house account is Kate's Homely Home. So they'll be linked in the description box. But any videos I've said that I was going to link and I forget, just let me know and I'll add them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you tomorrow at two o'clock with my Christmas decorations home tour i just need to edit it and put it together so yeah i hope you enjoy that tomorrow take care sending love to everyone merry christmas see you soon bye